Hey folks, Grudge here. How are you doing today? Just a quick little video on the new Spyderco Lacey Sabo. It's a pretty good knife. Just got it a few days ago. I haven't seen too many reviews on this blade on YouTube, so I figured I'd throw up a quick one just so people knew or wanted to see what it compared to as far as size. There's one or two out there. Uh, the videos that I have seen so far, though, the one factor that fairly constant, it's a bitch to open. It's quite stiff. I've had it for a few days now and uh, I tried adjusting the pivot. All I ended up doing by adjusting the pivot was getting a lot of blade play introduced into it so I'm not too crazy about that. Anyway, sorry I'm filming this with my phone so it may not be all that stable. Anyway, uh, out of the box it was fairly sharp. It's got kind of a thick blade. You can see that blade steel is pretty fat so it's deceiving. I didn't think it was all that sharp and I tried sharpening it a little bit more with the old Spyderco sharp maker. All I ended up doing was getting a little pissed off, but in the big scheme of things it cuts phone book paper pretty good. So like the uh, other fellow that reviewed this, you can get it open with one hand, but it requires a significant amount of wrist flick to get that done. My thumb's actually sore from farting around with this thing for the last few days, so you know this is nice. It looks good, but it really isn't that grippy. It's actually fairly smooth. Lock is thick and sturdy. Uh, when I adjusted the pivot point back to the factory setting there, how I got it, you know, it's there's no blade play up and down movement, no nothing. So anyway, quick comparison for you here. Spyderco Resilience. i put that on the bottom. I'm just going to change the camera angle here so you can see. <clears throat> the Spyderco Resilience is a four and a quarter inch blade. And the specifications on the Sabo are 4 and 5 eighths, I think. The blade's just a hair longer, but the resilience obviously has a, a longer cutting surface and it's not quite as sturdy a knife. Uh, ZT 561. We'll line up the pivots there. You can see the difference in blade length there. Pretty good. And then we'll get these ones out of the way. We'll throw up a Hogue EX01. Now this is how a knife is supposed to open. There you go, Hogue EX01. This is the 4 inch version. Anyway, there you have it. So far, I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, for a, a self defense blade, I would think a knife that opens like that, or just the wrist, you know, thumb flick like so, or even the uh, ZT opens with absolutely no movement of the wrist and it's lightning quick. I would think for the market that this is intended for, as far as a, a defensive blade, it would open a whole lot better now. The one thing I was really disappointed about, you see all these guys with their militaries and paramilitaries, I guess paramilitary with the compression lock on the back, they're able to squeeze it and close the blade. Not happening on this knife. So if you think you're gonna get this and whip it open, release the lock and have it fold up like all those videos of guys with their paramilitary too, forget it, not gonna happen. Closing this bad boy is a two-handed operation or one hand and one leg while you're holding the video camera. So there you go, Lacey Sabo. Nice knife. I wish it opened better. I wish it closed better. But once it's open, it's a it's a beast. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments bar in the bottom. I'll get back to you. Thanks. Have a good day.